Oh, see, I don't like I don't like rice three times a week. No, three times a, a day. <laughs> Once I came to the Philippines, I was like, okay, I have to speak a dollar because I want to well, understand. What do you think about um, Filipino guys? About Filipino guys? About dating Filipino guys? Or you want only Europeans or Russians? I would say they are more. <laughs> yeah, this this sweet this sweet in terms of like. What kind um, of kind of how sweet? <laughs> Okay. So do you have such any problems with society, with Russian people, with your parents, that mm. you choose a Filipino guy? I did have a problems in the, in the beginning, like, like why, why Filipino? Hello my dear friends! Hi guys! I'm here in Cavite, mm -hmm. Torres Farm and Resort. I'm Diana Capellet and this is Anna Rapsun Yes. And for this collaboration, by why I'm here, it's happened because of you guys. Because you all the time wrote the comments, make collaboration with Anna. Yeah. The <laughs> Bylosis squad. Yeah. <laughs> and you also write comments to today channel, like you should make collaboration with uh, with Yelena. <laughs> yeah, so, so we made it happen. Yeah. And we're very glad to meet in reality. It's very nice. We're happy to, to have Elena here in Doris Farm. How do you? Thank you. Are you enjoying here? I enjoy very much, and I'm so sad that my children is not here. I'm so sad because she has so amazing things. She has like Lego Land, Disneyland. Here is like swimming pools. Swimming pools. That they will. I, they can even do kayak in the lake. It's, like it's an amazing place. I, I will definitely come here again with children. <laughs> Yes. So, Anna, I have a lot of questions for you. So, <laughs> so how many years you are in the Philippines? I'm here around um, more than, oh no, 11 years. 11 years yeah. from 2012. So, around 10, 11 years, something like that. So, you, how I understand, you're here because of your husband. Yes. He is Filipino. Yes. And. Uh, I guess to every person is uh, very interesting how it is to have this mixed uh, relationship. relationship. Yeah, I think um, by having just a husband that doesn't matter if it's uh, international or not. Or it's it's like once you get married, you, you taught different people in general, you know. And once you are from different countries, that's even more elevated. So. Of course, it did not come right away that we were like feel like okay, we are really one. You know, I think it's 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 a it's a work of knowing each other, and um, um, we are me and Eric. Like we are really different people. I will be speaking English only, not not Tagalog because I don't um, we, we don't speak Tagalog yet. Um, for me and Eric, we just uh, try to use all our differences to complement each other instead of fighting about it. Like for example, m my husband, he likes um, all kinds of food. I like certain food, like I like salads and stuff. So instead of like fighting, at, in the beginning we were kind of uh, disappointed. I think my husband love, loves um, rice, fast food, <laughs> rice, you know, like uh, he's a simple, 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 typical Filipino food, you know, like rice and ulam. Rice and ulam is like that. Ulam? Ulam is, uh, <laughs> ulam is like, um, Meat, meat with the rice. Okay, let's just let's just say like that. Uh, like we have a soup and rice, you know. Uh, and me, I'm more flat like, complicated. I like my oatmeal. I like my tea. I like my uh, potatoes. salads, potatoes. Yeah, I don't like I don't like rice three times a week. No, three times a, a day. You know. Um, so we did. We just did adjustments. You know, like for example, sometimes I can eat just a simple food, like whatever Filipino eats. Sometimes he will eat salad he will eat big tea with me so basically you know it's kind of like that it's all all about give and take and uh, try to work over your cultural differences and like I, I speak Tagalog so basically I understand more the Filipino culture because I came here that was one of my uh, goals once I came to the Philippines I was like okay I have to speak Tagalog because I want to well. understand yeah, I, I didn't want to like be clueless and then, you know, I go somewhere and I have no idea what they're speaking about. It's, that kind of drives me crazy. Yeah, so something like that. It's a, it's, it's the same as marrying a different person. You have to understand 
the person first. Do, do not uh, get into a relationship and think, okay, the person has to adjust for me. Or I have to adjust for the person. So bo both needs to work on the relationship. You know, very often I get comments, kind of, what do you think about um, Filipino guys? About Filipino guys, about dating Filipino guys, or you want only Europeans or Russians? Okay. So do you have such any problems with society, with Russian people, with your parents, that mm. you choose a Filipino guy? I did have a problems, and in, in the beginning, like even to ex to explain who are Filipinos, like my parents never been to Philippines before, before I met Eric. So. And I was coming from America and I told them, okay, I have a boyfriend and he's Filipino. So it was such a, like, shock for them, like, why, why Filipino? Why not? Why yeah, like, why, why, I was why, like, why? okay, why not? But they, they were like, why? Who is that? Who is Filipino? Where is Filipinos? Like, they know it's like somewhere close to China, that's the only thing they know. Like, and for them, Asia, it's all Chinese. That's how bad it was. Like, uh, and then of course to convince them to trust their daughter to a Filipino guy, that that takes time. And I think I'm. I think my parents are really brave, and they have a courage to to do that. You know, to to really trust. Like, I I, I don't know if I would be able to to allow my kids. You know, to, to Arabic parents. Yeah, like <laughs> Arabic, like Arabic. No, <laughs> you know, it, it's a it's a. It's hard, you know. Um, I think for my for my parents, for my mom, it was like more of okay. I trust your choice. Wow. You know, and it's not, it was not about um, fighting and stuff. They they just like okay, you choose Filipino. That's that's your choice. Okay, you deal with it. <laughs> but I guess for every parent, it's just most important that daughter is happy. So if if they yeah. see that you are happy, mm -hmm. they should love also Eric, your husband, yeah. and accept. But I think like if you compare Filipino guys to our European and all other nations, the, the Filipino guys are very sweet, I would say. They're more... Sweet. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're sweet. Yeah, they're sweet in terms of like... What kind, um, of, kind of how sweet? <laughs> how, how sweet can you get to expose some sweetness? How, do you, how are you sweet, Eric? No, no comment. <laughs> Eric is behind the camera, but he doesn't want <laughs> Okay, just girls uh, no, like I'll I'll try to generalize, not just like my husband, but gen generally, like if you date a Filipino guy, he's um, I would say he they they more pay more attention to girl, like they um, they give more attention, they uh, they like dating, serenades, you know, like they sing together, you know, something like that. I would say. Uh, I, I don't know, Filipino guys, can you guys help, help me out, like how the Filipino are sweeter than the other nations, you know? For me, for me, like, I I think that Filipino are a little bit sweeter than the other people. It's because they use very much sugar in the, in the coffee. Right. <laughs> Everyone, everything is so sweet. <laughs> even even, even meat is sweet, right? Yeah, because, you know, they eat yeah. it and it becomes sweeter and sweeter. <laughs> no, you know, the first time I tried here, the spaghetti. In Jalabi. Oh. I was like, is that dessert? <laughs> it's like, why it's so much sugar? So that's actually one what I what don't like in the food. Like, like it's a sugar, sweet yeah. pasta, I can yeah. eat sweet pasta. Yeah, even the barbecues. Like my, when my mom tasted the barbecue, like, why does And sweet, here? sweet barbecue I like. I just don't like yeah. sweet pasta. <laughs> yes, the no, uh, same thing. That it took it took a while. Right now I adjusted already for like sweet sweet food. I just like, if I don't like it, I will not eat it. But before, yeah, I was like. Why there's sugar in there? <laughs> yeah, it is kind of funny. Okay. Next question. Okay. <laughs> and uh, do you miss the Russia? Miss Russia? You won't come back? Or or you just uh, one bill here to the dark? No, I do. I do miss Russia a lot. Like um, in time when I was like away from Russia for more than like three years, I literally like started missing the weather, the people. Like snow? Snow, yeah, I, I miss this. I miss snow because I haven't been in the snow for more than 10 years. Like, I haven't seen snow anymore. <laughs> so, uh, I do, I do miss Russia. I, I miss my parents. I miss my uh, friends. I have a lot of friends in Russia. I miss my sister. And um, three, four years ago, we were in Moscow and we spent like uh, 
more than a month in Russia. It was really, really awesome. Like we had so much fun. I, I didn't want to leave. I mean, um, you know, a lot of people like they they saying like, okay, patriotism and everything. You need to love your country and everything. I think I'm more, more international. Like I don't I don't consider myself. Uh, loving only one country and i can only live in this country and uh, that's it you know i i feel like i can live uh, in many countries as long as i'm with my family and um i'm I surrounded with the people who i love so there you go. and you wanted to invite here your parents and family to live here they move here in philippines for the um, for you no i i do I, actually my my mom is retired my dad is still working but um I, I invited them many times already. The biggest challenge is for them, it's really hot. Like every time they come in December here and they sweat a lot, they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and December is it's like, it's colder. It's not so hot. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to right now. And then um, another big problem, they don't speak too much English and Filipino. So it's going to be hard for them to mingle with the people. So that's the biggest challenge for them. Okay. Okay, so. We just go swim. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, thank you. I, I will watching. link Anna's channel, but I guess everybody know Anna. But if you don't know, I will link her channel. You can also subscribe to her. Yeah. By the way, watch our videos how we sing together. Don't judge too much. <laughs>